Kia ora, I'm Robin Holmes, a freshwater ecologist at the Cawthron Institute. I'm going to lift the lid on the Macroinvertebrate Community Index, or otherwise known of as the MCI. What is it and what does it do? I'm also going to give you an example of how we could broaden the way we assess the health and value of rivers. First, what is a macroinvertebrate? These are the critters without backbones that live in our rivers and lakes. Some of them are reasonably well known like the predatory stonefly or the annoying sandfly, which seems to be especially abundant on the west coast of the South Island. It actually has a larval form that lives on the bottom of our streams. And you also have the not-so-charismatic aquatic worm or oligochete. Put together all the invertebrates that live in a stream or river and you have a macroinvertebrate community. So what about the index part of the MCI? Well, different stream bugs have an amazing array of life histories, strategies and tactics. Think all the drama of David Attenborough on the African savannah but played out in a minute underwater world. Because macroinvertebrates are so easy to collect, and because we know so much about their ecology, it's possible to know something about a river simply by matching which bugs are present in a river with their habitat preferences. So, back in 1985, Dr John Stark had a fantastic idea of adapting a method for using stream bugs to assess the enrichment status of freshwater streams. Essentially, different stream bugs are given a score from 1 to 10 according to their tolerance to organic enrichment. So stoneflies really don't tolerate nutrient pollution well, so they get a high score, whereas aquatic worms are perfectly happy in scummy farm drains, so they get a low score. He then developed a simple formula to combine the scores of all the species present in a stream to give a single number that can be used to indicate enrichment. The higher the score, the less nutrient pollution. Because stream bugs live for a year or two, they are like a black box recorder for water quality. As it turns out, the MCI is also a pretty good indicator of overall stream health because the same bugs that don't tolerate enrichment also tend not to tolerate other pollutants like fine sediment. In fact, the MCI has been so successful that every single regional council in the country uses it to assess the state of rivers and streams and to see if our management actions and good farming practices are making a difference. Turns out that some initiatives, like the wide-scale riparian fencing initiative undertaken by the nation's farmers, does help. So how else could we use this simple concept and these fascinating creatures to learn more about the state of our rivers and streams and the values that they support? Well, Karen Shearer and John Hayes got together to create a macroinvertebrate community index that rates a river not in terms of nutrient enrichment, but rather, and more specifically, by how well the community can pass energy from plants onto fish. Or, in other words, a fish-prey index. If you're a trout fisher, you will already know that macroinvertebrates are the main food source of our river fish. So, if a stream macroinvertebrate community is made up mostly of bugs that are large and wriggly, spend a lot of time out in the open so they are easy to be seen and preyed on by fish, and are juicy and nutritious, like the ominously named toe biter, then the stream will score highly with this index. On the flip side, if the community is made up by lots of macroinvertebrates that are not vulnerable to predation for various reasons, like the amorphous aquatic worm that we met before, then the stream will score poorly. As hinted at before, this index is still under development, but at Cawthron we are committed to sourcing funding so that we can expand the range of ways that we can measure ecosystems. Lately there has been a lot of bad press on how New Zealand's track record for managing the health of freshwater is not all that great. But an unrecognised reason for this is there are too few indicator tools in the ecosystem monitoring toolbox. We need more robust, scientifically validated yardsticks, like the MCI, to get a handle on the state function and trajectories of our freshwater systems. And like it or not, humans are also part of these systems. So we need indicators that tell us how well our rivers are providing for the things we value as New Zealanders. Like going fishing. <laughs>